Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you Microsoft To Do, and it's a to-do list app from Microsoft. And it's a basic checklist app, but it has a lot of features that I really like, so I wanted to make a full video and show you step-by-step -step how to use it. They have it for iOS, they have it for Android, they have a browser version of the app as well, and they have a Mac and Windows version. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use it on iOS, but on the Android app, it's almost identical. There's just a few minor changes, I'll point them out as I go through, but the iOS and Android app are pretty much the same. And then towards the end of the video, I'll just show you the browser version so you get an idea. But once you figure out how to use it on your mobile devices, it becomes pretty straightforward on what to do on your computer. And I come from another app called Wonderlist. I'm a big fan of to-do list checklists and I've used Wonderlist for many, many years, but Microsoft recently purchased Wonderlist and now they're gonna shut it down and to do is the way to go with the new to-do list app from Microsoft. So that's why I really wanted to show you how to do that because I'm a big fan of Wonderlist and to do is the closest to that. Microsoft basically took everything that Wonderlist had, added some beneficial features to it. And if you've ever used Wonderlist, this is gonna be a very easy change for you. And they also let you import all those old data from Wonderlist to to do as well. So let's jump into the phone. All you need is a Microsoft account. So you could sign up for a Microsoft account. And as long as you use the same Microsoft account, it's gonna sync through all devices. So your iOS app is gonna sync with Windows and the web browser version. Everything is gonna sync together as long as you sign in with the same Microsoft account. Let's jump in, get the to-do list app, and I'll show you exactly how to get around it and create your checklists. Below this video, I'll put a link to where you could get the app, but it's just called Microsoft To Do, and I'm just looking at it here on the App Store. In the Google Play Store, it's the exact same name, spelled the same way, and later when I'll show you the browser version, you could get that at todo.microsoft.com. But go ahead and download the app first, and let's go ahead and open it. And when you first open the app, it's gonna ask you to log in with your username. Again, that's a Microsoft username. If you don't have one, just get one from Microsoft and make sure it's the same one you're gonna use on other devices like your computer and browser. And as I mentioned before, you see coming from Wonderlist, that box on the bottom, if you've used Wonderlist before, you could migrate all your list and import them here. So this is the first page you should see, and let's go very step-by-step step on this page. I really wanna focus on my day, that's the first option you see here, how to create tasks, how to assign due dates, and things like that, very essential things first. And then we'll focus on creating new lists and creating folders and really organizing. Now I run my entire businesses and my life really using a to-do list app. So I really wanna show you how to organize it to get the most benefit from it. But first things first, on this page, let's click my day, the very first option. And you should see a page that looks like this. It's a little bit different on Android. The plus sign is in the center, but it's basically laid out the same way. And it's super simple. This is all you do here. You press the plus sign on the bottom of the page to add a task. And then you just type out the name for your task. So let's say I wanted to make sure I work out today. So I type in workout and I'll press enter and he adds it just like that as a task. Now let me add another task, go to bank. I'll just type that out here. And let me show you the three different options you have underneath before pressing enter this time or return. I could add it to a list, but I'm not gonna do that just yet because I wanna show you how to create lists. I could press the bell icon here to get notifications and reminders. Again, I'm not gonna worry about that. And I could click the calendar icon here and then assign a due date for myself. So it could be due today, tomorrow, next week, or I could just pick a date from the calendar. In this case, I'll just pick today and I'll press enter. So now you see that task has a date attached to it and my first task did not have a date attached to it. So I could continue to fill out this page here by adding one task at a time and when I'm done, I could press done right on top. Another thing you could do on my day is press the star icon next to a task and he adds it to your favorites. Now we're gonna see in the lists page where that's gonna be affected, but you could add those to your favorites here. At any time, you could click any of the tasks that you have created. So I'll press the workout tab here and you could see more steps here. So I could add steps to it. If my workout has multiple steps, I could add those by adding steps. 
I could add it to my day, which is already added. That's why that option is turned on, but I could also turn that off. That's basically a folder that's called my day and it's very nicely organized. And then I could set myself a reminder. I could add a due date. And one of my favorite things is repeat. I could press repeat and repeat this daily if I wanted to be reminded to work out daily at a certain time. I could press that and each day is gonna remind me. And I could anytime press X out of any of these options to erase that option, like the due date or the repeat. I could add notes for myself down here. So you could just type out notes and you could even add files from your camera, from your photo library, or from your files on your iOS. Let me click the My Day tab to go back here and back to the My Day list here. Now, we basically got the gist of what a My Day tab looks like here. But let's press Lists on the top left here to go back. And we're back to the home page. But now, as you could see, we have a few more things. Because I press Star on one of my options there, it's added to the important list. And my day has two, the two I added there. And under planned, because I gave things a date, they're showing up under that planned option. I'll show you assigned to you in a little bit. And under tasks, it's gonna show you everything. So all your tasks, let me press that task option. All your tasks line up here, including one I previously added, how to use Microsoft to do. That was my to-do list to make this video. And they're all added here. So all your tasks are gonna be added on that category. Let me go back to the My Day tab one more time. I wanna show you how to change the look and feel of this page. All you have to do is press the three dots on the top right, and then you could go ahead and change this theme. You could go ahead and edit this page as well. So if you wanted to delete things or change the due dates to multiple things, you could select multiple things here and on the bottom, affect all of them at the same time. You could go ahead and sort things alphabetically by due date. I usually like to do due dates, so the things that are due right away show on, on top when you have multiple things here. And you could always click one of these with your finger and then move them up and down as well. And to change the theme again, the three dots, press change theme, and you have a bunch of other options here to change the background of your image, or you could just have a solid color if you just wanna keep it very simple, just like this. Now, let me go back to the lists and show you what I really like to do to organize this whole to-do list app. On the bottom, the two things we haven't looked at is the new list option and that folder option. So what I like to do is press the folder option and create a new group. So I usually like to break this down by each month. So I'll call this March and I'll press create and it created a folder for me called March. Now I'll do another one just called April. So I have a couple of folders to work with. So I have two different folders and it says I could add a list down here to these folders. Now I already have a list, but let me create a new one here. So again, I'll put new list here, the plus option, and I'll call this work related list. So these are all the things that are gonna be work related. I could add a photo to it. I could change the color of it and I'll press done here. And then under that list now, I could assign tasks. So if I add a task, create a new video, press done on top. And now I have the list and a to-do task under that list. Let me go back to lists again. And that work related list, I could grab it and bring it to March and drop it right there. So now under the folder March, I have a list called work related. And if I tap that inside of it, I have all my tasks related to that. If I wanted to add any of these tasks to my day tasks, the one I showed you in the beginning, if I press it, you see add to my day option is the second one. I could press it and it'll add it to the very first option on that page. So if I go back a couple of pages here, you can see my day now has three before it had two. So if I go to my day, that new one, create a new video, is right there in that list. So that's really how you should think about this app, is that you have folders where you could really organize your things into big picture ideas. Then inside of the folders, you have lists where you could narrow that down a tiny bit more. And inside the lists, you have tasks. So really three different layers in the organization of Microsoft to do. And finally, let me show you how to assign someone to a task. So under the work related list that we made, if I go there, there's an option on top where you could add someone. You see that add person option, press that. 
and you could add them here via email, via text, and a whole bunch of other options here that you could use to add people and manage their access. So I usually would do that if we're working on the same project that would add someone. Now that requires you to make a list. You can't do this to my day tasks. So make sure you press new list here. Now call it whatever you like, and then you could go ahead and invite people there to that list. And you always have the search option on the top corner here if you press that. You could search for things from tasks and steps and notes. You will search basically your entire app here. And now let me show you how to complete tasks. Let me jump into my day and let's say you worked out. All you have to do is just press the circle here, press the check mark, and it's going to cross it off just like that as a completed tasks. If I go back to my lists here, it's going to be down to two. So if I go back to my day one more time, that's going to be crossed off and I could cross off the rest the same way. If I decide I don't need to do a task, I could always delete it as well. And that's just sliding left here on it and get the garbage can. And when you press the garbage can, it deletes it from the list. So if you decide that you don't need to complete a task, it's that simple to delete it from your list. And the same is true here with entire lists, not just tasks. And you could delete those the same way by sliding over and getting the garbage can sign. That's really the gist of the iOS and Android app, but let me quickly show you what this looks like on the computer so you get a general idea of how to move around if you're gonna sync it between your phone and the browser. So on your desktop, you could go to todo.microsoft.com. They also do have a standalone app for Mac and Windows, so you could get those but I'm gonna show you this browser version and those apps actually on the computer look pretty much the same. So if you press get started here, it's gonna ask you to log in again using your Microsoft account. I've already done that here. And because I just did all those things on the iOS app, as you could see, they're all imported automatically here. I don't have to press sync. I don't have to worry about anything. They're all added right here. So the organization of the desktop browser app is basically the same. Here you have all your different lists and tabs here. So the folders I created, March, April, those are the big folders. Inside of them, this is the list I created, work related. And inside of that, there's my task if I click it. And anytime I'm done, I could go ahead and press check mark on that. And it will just be crossed off just like that. I could always bring it back as well. And I could basically move around my day here, go to that list. I could go ahead and press add task. My fourth task would go here and I'll press enter and it will be added just like that. Anytime you could click on one of these and you'll have the same options like adding step, adding it and removing it from my day tab, reminding myself, repeating it, adding files and everything else you could do on the mobile apps. If at any time you wanna remove an entire list, you could click the list here and you could go ahead and right click or control click on it and delete or duplicate a list. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this list here. And just like that, it will be deleted from my app. If I wanna see all the tasks that I have assigned in all different lists here, I could click the tasks category and see all of them here, change their due dates. I'm pretty much very identical to the app. I hope you found this useful and you could benefit from this app. Let me know what you think of it in the comment below. Please give this a thumbs up and subscribe for easy to follow tech and social media videos. And I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.